Well, hello there, all you gold enthusiasts. Ray here, and welcome back to Gold Rush. Today we're out once again, and I've been busy uh, doing some more digging over here just because I know this ground isn't as good as that stuff over there, and I wanted to save that for you guys. Uh, but yeah, as you, as you can see, this is some really good ground over here, so I thought I would start recording again, and you guys are gonna hate me, but I'm probably gonna get a loan because I got 350 grand right now, and I wanna buy the reinforced trommel. That is the final trommel that we need. And then after that, all we need is the final D-Rockers. I don't actually know what they're called. Uh, and then we have a max system. We can't get any better than that. So yeah, before we get into the really good dirt, I want to make sure we have the best equipment possible so we're not wasting any of that valuable dirt. Uh, so yeah, I got 350k right now. I don't think we're going to need a very big loan. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to dab on all the haters and get a loan once again just because you guys love it when I get loans. I, I, I know, I see the comments. All right, so yeah, the reinforced trommel is 544,000. Um, I thought it was a little bit lower than that, if I'm honest, but that's fine. Uh, that's going to be a huge upgrade that should help out with the yields that we get. So the fun part's going to be figuring out how much of a loan I want to get, because obviously I have employee fees as well, so I can't just get just enough money. I'm going to need to get more than that. Um, so yeah, let's start, let's start with around 500,000. Okay, and with some crazy installments, again, we'll probably pay this off by the end of the episode, so we don't really have to worry too much about the installments, um, because you can prepay everything off if you do want to. So it's 50k a day, that's kind of the, the place that I like to do, 50k isn't too much, well, it is a lot of m money in real life, but when you're earning, you know, 100 to 200,000 a day, it really isn't too much at all. So we're gonna take that loan, and now we got 843, so we really don't have to worry about the bank taking everything from me anytime soon. Okay, and this is gonna be fun. This is the biggest piece of equipment. Oh, that's right, you bastards, and your damn delivery fees. All right, as much as I'm tempted to buy this because I'm, I'm lazy, we're gonna have to go pick this damn thing up because there's no way I'm paying. That's stupid, like 150, 200 grand just to deliver it here? You guys are assholes, man. Okay, and here is the beautiful orange beast. There's the old guy. I forgot that we can sell this too, so we probably didn't need to get that big of a loan. That's fine though. We'll be able to uh, pay it off really, really quickly. Um, so yeah, here we go. And I gotta say, this thing, look at the size of this sucker. I mean, this is pretty big, but this is this, I'm just worried about installing this. This is gonna be a nightmare. I'm bad at installing things, so hopefully it goes well. The irony is, they're still delivering it. I don't know if they just wanna see my pretty face here or something, but um, I don't have to pay the money if I come all the way here, yet they still deliver it, so I, I have no idea. All right, transport it. And what's the damage now? 1,500 bucks, a lot better than 200,000. God, man, <laughs> they really need to lower that fee. All right, big boy, it's time to say goodbye, because I got a better version of you coming in. So hopefully this is as easy as it looks. We got this nice area over here, so lots of space to lift this thing up, hopefully. Did I disattach everything? Yeah, there we go. God, it's like I know what I'm doing in this game now. It's so weird. Watch out, electrical tank. I'm just trying to sell this. That should hopefully work, I think. They really need a bigger sale spot. I can't even get in here now, God damn it! Okay, hold on, let's go around this way. All right, don't hit me. There we go, and old, even the excavator, I guess because I'm attached to the trommel, I can technically sell it. Obviously, we don't want to sell any of this besides old Arnold's trommel. So we got 103K back. Uh, so yeah, it's about half of what you pay, I think. And uh, yeah, I'll take it, because it's better than just sitting over there wasting space. Okay, it doesn't look like there's uh, mid-connect points on this, so I might need the bigger cables. We might be able to fit it, though. I, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Oh, Jesus, okay. Um, so yeah, we got these. Oh, you bastard. I don't even know if I have the wide cables anymore, or I don't know where they are anyways, unless they're in here. I still got a mess in here, as you can see. So yeah, we definitely got, I think those are the big ones, the red ones. Yeah, so we should have enough in here, I think. So yeah, these should definitely fit. Very easily. How much space do I have though? I don't want them too big because then it's hard to actually place it in place. We might even want to use the medium ones. Regardless, I've already grabbed the big ones. Let's just try it because I think these are the small ones. Yeah, they definitely are. Okay, and there we go. All ready to uh, hopefully place this easily. Yeah, these ones are a bit long as you can see. This is as high as I can take it. Oh, man. I'm much too lazy to go move to the medium ones though. Let's just try it and see what happens because that's always safe. All right, just gonna bash into the fuel tank because I don't have an easy way to get through this. That's safe as well, you know. 
Explosives aren't a thing in this game, at least hopefully. <laughs> that actually went way better than expected. Okay, may maybe this will work after all. Okay, as long as we can get over this piece of wood here, we should be good. It's the only thing I was worried about. I, I guess we could just push it over too. Oh, it looks like it's just going to fit. Talk about lucky. I mean, this is going to be a good day. I can feel it. All right, hold on. We're not out of the woodworks yet. Lower. Oh, why couldn't they all go that well? I mean, to be fair, though, I think everything we've installed lately has been really w good, good to us. So, uh, yeah, let's keep it up. So, we got the new beast in. Just got to plug her in here. I hope these things don't get caught. Oh, God, don't get caught. You bastard. The great thing about steel cables in this game is even if they snap... They're still totally fine. You just gotta re-place uh, them. Okay, so where is the connection? It's right here. Perfect. Just like the other one. We're all ready to go already. Oh, and I fell. So yeah, I don't know how much more gold we're gonna get with this thing, but I gotta say, it's a sexy beast. So what I want to do now um, is actually... So, well, I, I, I don't want to do it, because honestly, it's the most boring part of this game. But I need to drill some more holes. I need to actually analyze this ground, because if we go to the gold map here... I haven't really done much of the gold or the drilling yet, and I just want to see what else we got over here so we can kind of pinpoint where the decent yields are. I don't want to get the best yields yet until we get those final upgrades, uh, but I do want to obviously go on good dirt. So I think we're going to go back over here and, yeah, just drill a little bit just to see what the rest of this ground looks like. Oh, okay, that is crazy. I didn't even know you could do that. I mean, I... Where did it go? I saw it fling over here. I need gas! the hell am I supposed to do? I think I can buy... I think I have to buy a new one, because I think you can. I, th I think I saw it in the store. All right, let's turn this off. God damn it. Here I was saying how good this day is going, and I, I whacked the freaking gas knob, or gas hose, and um, yeah, destroy it. Good start. All right, well, that was a $381 mistake. Actually, $495, because these guys screw me over. I am not going back to Haynes just to buy a fuel nozzle, though. God damn it. <laughs> Oh God, I can't believe you can do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to put that thing back on its holder. I usually just throw it on the ground like an idiot. And that's what happens when that happens. Oh, I should have did that first. So I reloaded the game and the hose is magically back. Okay, well I have a spare over there if I ever need it. Okay, I think that should be enough holes right now. Well, let's just do this last one, obviously. I don't think I'm gonna go any further up here because it's getting pretty shallow and I'm gonna risk breaking my drill if I do hit bedrock too much. So, um, yeah, it's not like we can easily get over here anyway, so I doubt we're even gonna mine this area. But I kind of did this whole good area that we found and I just want to see how far this vein goes, if it goes all the way and if it gets better or not. I'm just really curious. I haven't looked yet, so let's go to the gold map and... Okay, wow. Wow! So this, all, all the blue ones are what I had before, and I just added all these other holes. I thought the vein would kind of stop, but now that I see this, it's kind of looking like it's probably going all the way into the middle here. Um, so I don't think we're gonna run out of gold anytime soon, that's for damn sure. I just wanted to make sure if I was to continue mining here, if, um, or, uh, that it wouldn't, uh, just totally end. And no, it will not. So yeah, just looking at these new holes, just as good as this stuff over here. Uh, down at the bottom, 40 gold a meter cubed. Sorry, 40 grams of gold a meter cubed. Hell, even 45 over here. So it does look like it gets a little bit better. And it kind of stays like that over here. So when I, uh, when I have the patience to do the rest of these holes, I will. I just wanted to have a sneak peek into the ground right now. And yeah, it's nice to know that this vein just keeps on going so we don't have to worry about running out of gold. So, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to turn this off here. All right, so yeah, we're just going to continue pulling back this wall because I can reach all the way down the bedrock right now. And then maybe when the ground flattens out, we can move over to the front end loader and start doing an open pit mine. Um, I don't think it's going to flatten anytime soon, though. Can I see through this? No, I can't seem to actually glitch it out to see through it. Okay, I'm just going to sleep till dawn just because I don't really care about money anymore. Um, we're probably going to get enough to buy the final upgrades today. Um, so yeah, I'd just rather deal with, um, mining in the sunlight. Well, the, the cloudy sunlight right now. Gotta love this terrain, man. Just trying to set up my dump truck here. Obviously, this is not the best placement. I maybe be, should... Is that all, extended all the way in? I don't know if it's extended all the way in, because I can't even get over this mound that I've accidentally made. Um, alright, that's actually should be good for right now. God, it's gonna be hard to place that dump truck every time, though. Look at the incline. What the... Why am I in the back? Get, I'm stuck. I am... Oh, okay. 
Thank you, loading. Look at this incline, though. It, it doesn't look so bad when you're in the truck, but goddamn, I'm basically off-roading like crazy right now. Okay, and yeah, let's go for the deep stuff. We're gonna continue going right to bedrock for as long as we can, obviously, because that's where the gold vein is, right at the bottom, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with too many of these scoops. I mean, I do a lot of these, obviously, and edit them out, but a lot of you guys ask me to see a little bit more, so here you go. Just imagine me doing this for an hour or two. I mean, that's pretty much what a Gold Rush episode is. All right, and the first bit of dirt's coming down, as you can see. And, uh, well, we're not going to see much in here because the big guys get sucked out. But, uh, yeah, hopefully whatever you're doing, Mr. Reinforced Trommel, you're getting more gold out of this dirt because, uh, can't really see what's going on. But obviously, yeah, just, uh, refines it a little bit better down here. And, uh, hopefully we see these numbers rocket up. All right, well, we're almost out of gas here, but good timing because we're on the last dump truck. I should probably stop digging here, too. I I, I clearly like to live dangerously, guys. Look, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Look at my excavator. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. Screw it. I want to get the deepest stuff I can get. So, yeah, as you can see, we're in a really good square right now, and I'm still hitting bedrock. I'm trying so hard to get the best stuff for this episode. And, uh, yeah, as you can see... God, I moved a lot today. It didn't feel like that much, but uh, I've been slowly pushing backwards. And uh, yeah, I hope I don't kill myself here just to get some gold. But yeah, we're gonna be doing two cleanouts today. This cleanout I'm really excited about. I'm gonna stop digging over there because I am gonna fall soon if I keep going. I honestly, I don't know how good these are gonna be because I had to go through a lot of the crust to get to the gold vein. You gotta remember the gold vein, at least at this place. Oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. Oh, here we go. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, get one more before I fall. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm good. I'm kind of good. But yeah, as I was saying, I had to get through a lot of the top crust to get to the gold vein as compared to over there where the gold vein was basically right there because we were already on bedrock. It was just very shallow. So I don't know if this is going to be a better clean out than last time. I'm clearly not going to be able to do anything here. So I guess we'll just end here. Hopefully that's enough dirt. So yeah, we'll see how good the cleanout is, but I dug much deeper, and it's still up kind of the, the similar gold yields as compared to over here. Uh, I unfortunately just had to get through so much crust to get to the dirt, so I'm curious to see how good this cleanout's gonna be. Well, it's time to do my favorite thing. We got the clean out, and I just mixed everything together this time. It's gonna be kind of like a surprise. It'll be fun. Uh, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, quite a bit. There's actually some really good mats here, uh, so that gets me excited when they're that dark. We'll see what it looks like when we actually get the gold coming out, though. Okay, I think- is that all the mats? Uh-oh. I'm getting a little nervous now. Um, even with those extra three mats that I found, there's only one mat in here. We might actually get the big hundred with this. Wow, it takes just as long to clean out one mat. That's crazy, actually. Um, but yeah, with the extra three mats, I still only got two full buckets. Well, a little over two, because we got 65% left on that mat. Uh, usually, without the extra three mats, I get a little over two, so that's kind of weird. Maybe those mats were bugged that I didn't have anything on them? Yet they looked like they had something on them? Because yeah, this won't give me much at all. With just one mat in here, obviously. Uh, but yeah, that's done, so now on to the magnetite separator. I have cleaned out the magnetite, by the way. We had 100% in there. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can get a full bucket of magnetite. That's always fun. Okay, so this is a 3% bucket. I'm just gonna combine this with another bucket. Um, wow. 3%? 1,538 grams of magnetite? Not bad at all. So yeah, we're gonna be mix mixing and matching today. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. I just wanna see how much we're gonna get for two full cleanouts. Okay, 16,000 grams of magnetite in that one. That's gonna be a really good bucket, but again, we're just gonna keep them all, you know, as a surprise. I have no idea what this is gonna be like. 16,000, though, is a really good bucket. Now, I was getting like 5,200 for what I assume is the planter buckets, um, so that's even not that bad. We'll see at the end how much this is truly worth. Ooh, magnetite is rocketing up for this one. Already at 65% magnetite. This might be our biggest bucket yet. Wow. Whew. Okay, I'm excited to see what this number is. <laughs> what? <laughs> 46,000? Uh, okay, yeah, we're just gonna put that one on the side because I'm surprised we're not even seeing just a giant gold nugget in there. 
<laughs> oh my god. I was getting a little nervous there. I mean, we have some decent yields ones, but nothing like that. God, I can't even fathom what is in that bucket. All right, and that's the last of them. So, uh, yeah, 90% magnetite bucket. Well, cl close enough to it. And, yeah, that's another planter bucket, obviously. So, um, yeah, not bad. When you can have almost a full bucket of magnetite, that's a pretty damn good clean out. So we'll turn this off. By far the biggest bucket's going to be this guy, though. So we'll save that one for the end. And, uh, yeah, let's check out what these ones have inside. So, yeah, like I said, I have no idea what each of these are. Ooh, I had some dirt in there. Oh, no. I hope I didn't waste some gold. I don't know why there was dirt in there. Oh, yeah, I was doing a thumbnail, and I just grabbed some random dirt. Hmm. I hope that didn't ruin anything. All right, well, regardless, if this is a... This, I, this can't be a planter bucket at 575 grams of gold already. It's taken a while to clean this one out, too, for some reason. Wow, this might be a 1,000-gram bucket right here. Good start. I'll take it. Now, that's going to be close, but I don't think it's going to reach it unless we boost it at the end here. Come on! Ah, oh, so close. 988 grams. All right, well, can't complain with that. If that's a planter bucket, we are going to have a great day. This is rocketing up, this one. Holy crap. Was that a planter bucket? That's making me really excited. That can't be a planter bucket. There's no way. This is going to be a damn good bucket, though. Why was that one so much slower? It must be because I put dirt in it. Like, just generic dirt. Uh, what was this? Okay, 1,000 grams. Maybe that was a planter bucket. That or I'm just choosing all the best buckets right away. And what's the damage? 383 grams. I don't remember last episode what our planter bucket yields were, but I feel like it was low 300s. So that's good. That means we're earning a little bit more gold per uh, pieces of dirt, basically. All right, getting a little nervous now. From what I remember, I think we got 8,000 grams last episode. We're sitting at... Well, four or five with three buckets left. Now, I think these two were decent ones, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It's hard to remember because I was placing them everywhere. Uh, but, yeah, the planter buckets, clearly. Um, I've been hitting a lot of those. Let's see how fast this goes up. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a good bucket. Um, it's not going to be great, but I'm gunning on this bucket to be over two. It's got to be over two. I don't remember how much magnetite there was in the last two grand bucket. Two, 2,000 gram bucket, sorry. Regardless, this bucket is damn good, so we might actually beat the eight. And what was that? 1,000, so that's the third 1,000 gram bucket. This might be another slow bucket then. Yeah, it is. Crap. Okay, the pressure's on then. So we're going to end off at like 6263. This needs to be a 2,000 gram bucket if we want to do as good as we did in the last episode. At least I think so. I don't remember exactly how much we earned, but uh, it was quite a bit. Regardless, ooh, what the hell was that bucket? 481. It's kind of like a planter, but with a little more in it. Oh, man. Okay, but here we go. This thing, this thing is a monster. And watch it rocket. <laughs> it's going up by 200 grams every time. Okay, keep it nice and slow. Let's enjoy this for a little bit. Okay, like pause. What the hell? <laughs> that, no, not, not that slow. And there we go. We're past the eight. Oh my god, is this gonna be a three thousand? I don't even know what we started with. I can't math right now. I'm just too, I'm just too excited right now. What the hell is inside this bucket? What was it? <laughs> three thousand. We we upped it by another thousand and then some. How? Okay, so the one thing I did do is put all the small guys in one cleanout. I think that had to be that bucket. So for whatever reason, the little guys just have so much dirt in them. And that was fantastic. 3,300 grams of gold in one bucket. Okay, so that's almost 10,000 grams in two cleanouts. I gotta say, that's a pretty damn great day gold mining once again. Well, to be fair, it took a couple days of in-game time to do this one. But yeah, now the fun part. Let's go over to my favorite man, Mr. Blacksmith, pay off this loan and see how much money we actually earned today. Okay, let's see the damage. One day I'll be good at parking this damn thing again. But uh, yeah, we actually had to do two bars because we earned so much today. How's the stock? A little bit down, but not too bad at all. And pff, there we go. Sell that, sell that. And bam, 612 grand. That means we can pay off this loan. Actually, no, we can't. <laughs> Crap! Goddamn interest. So, uh, yeah, I got a bigger loan than I than I expected, I guess. So we'll have to work on that loan now. I'm so sorry. I forgot I had to pay back the interest even if I paid it early. God damn it, that's frustrating. Regardless, uh, 612 grand in the bank. Not too bad at all for one day of gold mining. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Obviously, in the next episode, hopefully we can uh, pay off this loan and get the final pieces of our wash plant. That way we can uh, truly get to the deep stuff and, uh, yeah, go crazy with gold. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.